Hey there guys, been really delayed in getting this uh, test review out, um, so sorry to Tinkro and uh, Miami Mango who um, got this light sent to me um, for the delay, but um, been really busy with uh, lots of orders actually, um, reduced staff due to COVID-19, so it's myself and one other and we're down a couple of people who are working from home, but there's lots of orders coming in. Which I'm very grateful for. It appears uh, a lot of people are starting grows uh, during this lockdown and uh, yeah we're getting some of the benefit of that so much appreciated. Short of a little bit of stock um, for the larger models the 200s up to the 600s the LED drivers are delayed they're on um, coming in by FedEx and TNT um, I want to have them the week after next just to catch up with that backlog of orders so apologies for anybody who's delayed or, or were delayed with, with shipping their order but we'll get it out to you soon and uh, yeah overall I'm very grateful really to be honest to be um, to be able to work and to be um, to busy to be busy because I know a lot of you are going to be um, getting hit pretty hard so I hope you're doing as well as can be expected um, the current climate and all that stuff so this tinkro light really really nice light it's an impressive fixture and um, super efficient we'll get to the figures now in a minute but very very efficient it's a big unit this guy is pretty much four foot by four foot 120 centimeters by 120 centimeters um, weighs about 22 23 kilograms something like that about 45 pounds so it's a big beast uh, consumes at 220 volts it consumes 670 watts or thereabouts so it's a big high output fixture I think the model H this version is their flagship one retails on their website at about thirteen hundred and fifty dollars which is uh, which is very good for the performance spectrum you've got the enhanced red with it uh, but it's pretty much about a three and a half K um, color temperature spectrum and yeah down to the testing then and the results so it was uh hung in a five by five had the reflective walls around um they're gone now but i had them wrapped around and uh measuring it in a 10 by 10 grid with our quantum sensor now initially the guy said to hang it at six inches high which i did and you can see here where the sensor is six inches high uh, so there you're getting about um, 1200 uh, 1300 par which is a very high level so for the test I just dropped raised it up just a little bit over that um, to 8 inches or 20 centimeters still very high in the center at that you can see here we had um, here we go again 672 watts uh, 1.5 by 1.5 meter area 20 centimeters or 8 inches hang height still getting very high power numbers in the center 1270 1260 and it drops away uh, around the edges but anyway I tested it at that uh, and the average power was 750 total power is the average by uh, by the area that average is over so 1689 micromoles the total output measured onto the test area and the efficiency then the power divided by the wattage is 2.51 and 2.51 is the best we've tested thus far now it's better than the um, chilled grow craft we tested last week which was 2.43 was it 2.41 but it is hung a little bit low in my view um, I did test again with uh, at just raised it from 20 to 25 centimeters or 10 inches it drops the center measurements down to 1200 but the edge ones you see here do get a bit better so where we're getting sort of 340 at the side we're now getting 470 460 um, that results in a four percent drop in efficiency and 2.43 um, I would suggest that this needs to be hung a little bit higher than that again probably around 12 inches or 30 centimeters and you probably get a little bit of a drop in efficiency but the um, the uh, 
benefit of getting more even coverage and less hot spots in the center, I think would, would um, be a good trade-off. So I don't know, I, I should have done another test to be honest, but I've just been stuck for time. So it probably drops around to around 2.4 thereabouts um, for that efficiency. But uh, you know, still, still excellent class leading, excellent best you can get at the moment. So you can't complain. Uh, in terms of, of the features then, the LEDs have conformal coatings on them, a little silicon coating on the surface over the LEDs, so they're protected, which is great. Love to see that. Um, you've got full onboard dimming, so you can drop down and all the way up from zero. Now this goes up to 100, but then comes back to 96. I don't know why that is, but anyway, that's full output. Um, it shows 96 on the dial, but it is full output. <coughs> you could then hook up, hook up these models in series, so lots of them together with these Trollmaster Hydro X controllers. So you can link them and you can um, put them on timing and dimming and change spectrum and do all that stuff to multiple units at a time. I didn't hook it up because I didn't have the time to go through it all. Um, there's lots of little bits and pieces and um, I just didn't have the time. Sorry, think of. But uh, yeah, so yeah, it's an excellent light, brilliant fixture. Um, as I said, big thanks to Miami Mango who got in touch with Thinkrow to send it through and big thanks to Thinkrow for their light and congratulations on an excellent fixture. We will get it back to you soon. Um, best video 2020 definitely coming out soon. Just got a couple of more models. They're on their way now. They're big, um, big ones from big manufacturers. So I want to include them um, in, in this video. So hopefully you get that out in a few weeks. In the meantime, I hope you are making the best of the current situation and um, yeah, hope you take care and look after yourself. See you.